You all right? How you doing? Today I've come to Nampodong, which is an area in Busan, South Korea, really famous for its seafood, its street food, and its abundance of restaurants. It's a place that really mixes the old with the new. You've got really old markets that sell, you know, trinkets, souvenirs, clothes, bags, and all the things you could imagine. And on the other side, you've got high-end brands in the high street as well, all merging together to create an absolutely amazing place for tourists. In my opinion, this is one of the best must-see visits in Busan. Today, we're going to do a food tour and visit some really good places. Oh, but look at that! Look at all that meat. So let's see what Nampodong has to offer for food. So we've come to a place called Kunjip, which literally translates to big house, to come and eat some traditional Korean hanjangsik, the traditional Korean food, which consists of rice, meat, loads of side dishes. It's a plethora of side dishes that has come out. But this is one of the best things about Korean food is that there's so much on offer. It looks incredible. And here we have the main dish. Wow. Get a look at that. So we've got all of this food here. We've got the raw crab, the marinated crab, the marinated in soy sauce shrimp as well. You've got all of that gochujang, red pepper, marinated sauce, sesame seeds on there. It just looks so beautiful. So what you do, you get these raw crabs and you just suck them. Bon appetit. All of that fresh, raw, juicy crab juice inside and you've got the spiciness, which has a bit of a kick to it. That's all right, that is. Mm. Now, usually people do eat the legs, but for me, the legs are so fiddly and tiny, it's not worth the trouble trying to get the meat out of them. So I just suck on the bodies. The shell is also quite soft, so you can actually chew it if you get it in your mouth, so it's not that bad. Well, it's just like meaty, jelly spiciness. I'm gonna try some of the shrimp now. So here we have some raw shrimp. You can see it's been marinated in soy sauce. It's got sesame uh, seeds on it as well. You actually need to put on the gloves. Completely uncooked. You can feel that they're still... <laughs> so take the shrimp, just like you would a cooked shrimp. Take the head off. Maybe suck on the head if you want as well. Mmm. That's very salty and juicy. Look at all that meat. You probably don't even need to take the skin off. It's just so... Look at that meat right there. And then you dip it here in the wasabi paste. And then one appetit once again. Mm. That's all right, that is. And then if these get a bit too salty or spicy for you, you've of course got your rice, your soup, your plethora of side dishes as well. So this is shirekku, which is a, uh, it's like a seaweed, or I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's like a fermented soybean. Is it not seaweed? What is it? It's vegetables. Okay, I thought it was seaweed. It's it's <laughs> it's, it's a vegetable with a soybean paste, and it's it's got like a warm kind of nutty flavour to it. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. It's all right. Like there are a lot of people who do love this. Uh, I don't particularly love it. It's all right. It's, it's just all right, you know, it's, it's, it's not the best for me, but... And it, it's nice after you've eaten all of this salty food, you know, the raw crab and the raw prawns and all of these like spicy side dishes. It kind of uh, soothes your tongue a little bit. It's a welcome flavor. Not the best. It's all right. completely devoured basically all of that food. I, I do love raw food, I love raw seafood, uh, mixed with all of those side dishes, an abundance of different flavors. Totally recommend it, I enjoyed it.
and we're gonna go see what else we can eat around this beautiful area of Busan as well, because there is so much more to eat. That is Yongduzan Tower, one of the highest points in Busan. You can go up there to the top and get a great view of the city. But I just came here to eat some traditional Korean hotdog. It's basically a sticky rice made into some kind of dough with brown sugar usually inside. It's eaten all around the country, but this one is specific to Busan. It's very special in Busan because this is a shiat hotdog, seeds basically in it. It might not sound special, uh, but it's really popular. Tourists come from all around the country just to eat this seed hotdog. Bit of a crunchy texture, but it's a traditional Busan nampo snack as well. So I do recommend it when you come here. It's kind of cooled off a bit since I ordered it because I had to come all the way here, but still. Let's try it. Okay, it cooled so much it just basically crumbled away. <laughs> Destroyed in my hand. And that tastes right. It tastes almost like a breakfast cereal. And you have a really sweet breakfast cereal and you mix it with a bit of milk. Mmm. It's actually not bad when it's cooled off. You're meant to eat it when it's piping hot. But it's nice when it's cold. Almost like a, one of those oat chocolate bars. Yeah, that's all right, that is. I recommend it if you do come to Busan and visit Nampolong. Yeah, very sweet. It's also crunchy now. You've got nice brown sugar in there as well to give it that sweetness, along with the texture of the seeds and the softness of the uh, rice, sticky rice as well. It's just falling everywhere. I feel like a child. <laughs> oh, crap. It's a mess.